shit, they gonna kill me, man. Holy crap, what about this? <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is the DA here, man. I can't believe what I'm reading, man. Rachel Zegler is your new action hero, okay? The new action star of the year from the People Choice Awards. <laughs> Who said these guys couldn't do comedy, man? They have been holding out on us when it comes to comedy. This is too damn funny right here, man. Rachel Zegler. And again, look, I know that this is a big giant nothing burger because it's the what? It's the People's Choice Awards. All right. Which is pretty much just a popularity contest. And I mean, I don't know if you guys have ever followed the People's Choice Awards. It seems like the rules change every year. There's no like static way that they measure the people's choice. Sometimes it's an online poll. You know, sometimes it's a survey. They fill have everybody fill out this thing. Sometimes they just go off of, you know, hype, you know. We search social media to see which of these people are the most hyped up and they just go with that. You know, sometimes it's amongst I mean, it's just like it's all over the place. They've changed the voting criteria a thousand times. So you really can't take this thing seriously. But what we do know is this is all about what? Damage repair. They got to fix this chick's image here, right? They got to fix her image before this Snow White movie comes out. Best believe Disney was behind all of this. I mean, look, she wins the award over Keanu Reeves from John Wick, uh, Tom Cruise from Mission Impossible. Are you kidding me? Yes, we're kidding you. This is just damage control, damage repair. We got to somehow put something out there positive about this chick and then get her out there so she can read her little award, say, you know, a uh, speech and say, oh, thank you so much to all the little people or whatever it is that she said. I didn't watch this. I just popped up this morning, saw this crap and I just started rolling. I said, oh, I got to talk about this. But yeah, they have to go above and beyond at this point to try to fix her, um, her whole image because you, we know what's coming up next year. Next year is the 330 plus million dollar Snow White film that this chick is in. And we all saw what happened over the summer. She was running her mouth. All right. Actually, it wasn't even over that summer. It was from the previous year. But nevertheless, all of that footage got leaked out. And it's Rachel Zegler. Yap, 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 yap. Talking bad about the original Walt Disney classic. The, the original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there is a big focus on her love story. Um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Super weird. So we didn't do that this time. <laughs> so no, so no. We have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story just because like we cast a guy in the movie, right. Andrew Burnap, great dude. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's one of those things that I think everyone's going to have their assumptions about what it's actually going to be, but uh, it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. Um, all of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. You said you were bringing a modern edge to it on stage. What do you mean by that? I just mean that it's no longer 1937, and we absolutely wrote a Snow White she's that is not going to be yeah, saved by the prince. She's not going to be saved by the prince, and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be, and the leader that her late father told her that she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave, and true. And so it's just a really incredible story for, I think, young people everywhere to see themselves in. I was scared of the original cartoon. I think I watched it once, and then I never picked it up again. Like, I'm being so serious. I watched it once. Once, and then I went on the ride in Disney World, which was called Snow White Scary Adventures. Doesn't sound like something a little kid would like. Was <laughs> terrified of it. Never revisited Snow White again. So I watched it for the first time in probably 16, 17 years when I was doing this. It's not 1937 anymore. You know, and all of that shit. You guys remember that. So, yeah, they got a cleaner image up. At this point, they have no other choice. And I always wondered, like, do people that don't win this award even bother showing up? Because it's like, okay, they have the winners show up and they get their awards. But then, like, Keanu Reeves, I don't think he was there. I don't think Tom Cruise would have showed up for this either. Unless he was going to win. Then it's like, okay, if I'm going to win, I'll show up. But I'm not just going to be some Mark sitting in the crowd clapping it up for Rachel Zegler as she walks away with action star of the year. <laughs> I mean, goddamn, man. This stuff is too damn funny. You can't make this shit up. Let's go ahead and see what they're talking about. The people have declared Rachel Zegler to be the most popular action movie star of 2023. I mean, her movie wasn't even bigger than those other two movies. 
You know, like Rachel Zegler's movie. Like, what did they do in the box office? Hold on. Okay, so this is what this movie did in the box office. Hunger Games, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, $166 million domestically, okay? Just for this country, 166 domestic. All right, now let's check the other two. So John Wick 4, $187 million domestic. And here we got Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1, $172 million. All right, so in terms of those three movies, people saw the Rachel Zegler movie less than they saw these other two movies. So much for the popularity. Her popularity couldn't get butts in seats like it could for Mission Impossible and John Wick. It's like I said, man, it's just a bunch of nonsense. At the People's Choice Awards, Rachel Zegler was named as the winner of the award for Action Movie Star of the Year. I can't read that without laughing. That's <laughs> just too funny. Uh, based on her starring role in Hunger Games, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, the winners of the People's Choice Awards are determined through fan voting with the results announced live on NBC and Peacock. Uh, Zegler's win came amid nominations that also included her Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes co-star Viola Davis, as well as Tom Cruise. Um, Gal Gadot, Brie Larson, uh, dang, I'm surprised she didn't win. Uh, Jason Momoa, uh, Chris Pratt, and Keanu Reeves, of course, did John Wick. Look, any year that Keanu Reeves makes John Wick, all right, any year that Keanu Reeves makes a John Wick movie, he should automatically get the award, hands down, without breaking a sweat. You know, that guy does the most amazing action. <laughs> and, and I mean, again, we saw that his movie, as well as Tom Cruise, was more popular than Rachel Zegler's movie. So, yeah, he should absolutely get maybe him and Tom Cruise. OK, you know, Tim and Tom Cruise with his Mission Impossible and, you know, Top Gun and stuff. You know, if the two of them come out with a movie in the same year. All right. It's a coin flip. All right. It's a coin flip at that point. But if like Tom Cruise comes out with a movie. And, you know, Keanu, no, all right, then it's Tom Cruise's award. Or if Keanu comes out with a movie and no Tom Cruise, then it's Keanu's award. Yeah, but Rachel Zegler, yeah, that's how you know this shit is an absolute joke. Yeah, Lee, man, it's too funny. Thank you, Zegler said when accepting the award. I love movies, I love making them, and I am a fan of movies, and I am surrounded by movie fans tonight and movie fans who voted, and I am so thankful to everyone who's ever bought a ticket and watched something that so many people have made. Do you guys already see it, the language that she's using? Again, this is all about the cleanup. This is all about the damage repair. Oh, I love movies. I am a movie fan myself, and I love all fans of movies. You hear it? Do you hear it? Okay. She's like, oh, this is my, my love letter to movie fans. I love you so, 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 so much. That's what this is all about. This is all about her cleaning up because, again, the PR campaign has to kick into high gear at this point. We're about a year away from Snow White dropping in theaters. So they got to start getting this thing cranking up. They can't wait. They can't wait until like, you know, OK, it's uh, 2025, you know, movies out in three months. Let's go. Nah, y'all got to start this thing now because the amount of mouth running and bullshit that she was kicking. OK, that we all saw during the summer that has to be cleaned up. All right. They got to fix that. And the only way to fix it. Hey, D Disney's going to hey, give her some meaningless award. You know, let's get her out there in front of people. Let her read her little acceptance speech. And hey, make sure in the acceptance speech, we have plenty of love being given to movie fans. You know, that'll help her image along. You know, that's how it's done uh, for so long in this business. I didn't think I fit in. You see, you see that right there. I didn't think I fit in. Oh, poor little me, Rachel Zegler. I didn't fit in. That's what this is about, y'all. I didn't fit in. I, I'm a poor little misfit, you know, but tonight you made me feel like I don't have to change myself to be chosen. And I appreciate you so much. See, again, that's what this is about. They got to make her feel like some little victim. You know, I didn't think I fit in. Poor me. You know, playing that victim card out there. Just throw that joint out there, you know. And I can't be myself. I got to be somebody else. I don't have to change myself. Again, all of this is part of the cleanup campaign. They are doing their level best to fix her image so that by the time next year comes out, you know, some of the stink is off of her name. You know, right now her name is full of stink and stank. So, you know, they got to fix it right here with this people choice bullshit. You know, some fake phony award. But yet it's on NBC. Everybody we've heard. We've all heard of the People's Choice Award. And, you know, what it is is what it's it's that like group think mentality. So now everybody that comes out here against Rachel Zegler, well, Rachel Zegler won a People's Choice Award. Oh, what are you talking about? The people love her. Aren't you one of the people? You know, they're going to come out and try that crap. 
And that makes you feel, man, you know, yeah, if the people like her, you know, maybe I should like her too. You know, they'll, they'll look, trust me, they'll rope some idiots in with this crap. They'll rope some dummies in because Rachel Zegler is not going to come out and give a genuine apology for the stuff that she said about Snow White. She's not going to do that. That's out. All right. Because that runs contrary to the narrative that runs contrary to everything that's in that movie. So there's no way in hell they're going to do that. You know, but again, it's just about giving her something. What can we give her? Let's give her this fake award, you know, that we can completely manipulate with online fan voting. And so, yeah. Oh, no, we check the fan votes. It's legit. All right. Sure. Yeah, sure. Anything you say, Disney. All right. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. Look, and check this out. This is how you know this award is just absolute garbage, okay? <laughs> and it's meaningless. Uh, this is the complete list of winners. So Barbie won Movie of the Year. All right, whatever. Action Movie of the Year. Hunger Games wins that. <laughs> A comedy Movie of the Year. Barbie won. Okay. Drama Movie of the Year. Oppenheimer won. All right. Male Movie Star of the Year. Ryan Gosling. Okay. Yeah, I mean, again, this is like they're voting for their favorites. They're voting for the things that they like. And it's, again, giving Barbie something, too. Oh, Barbie didn't get the Oscar nomine nominations we wanted them to get. You know, so let's go ahead and get Barbie some winners. Uh, female movie star of the year, Margot Robbie. That's expected. All right. And then the action movie star of the year. Absolutely hilarious, man. A comedy movie star of the year is Jennifer uh, Lawrence for No Hard Feelings. Yeah, yeah, this one right here. Drama movie star of the year, all right? Jenna Ortega wins for Scream 6. Now, look, we like Jenna Ortega, nothing wrong with her, but, I mean, really? Drama movie star of the year, a horror movie? And, you know, winning over who? Leo DiCaprio? You know, winning over Florence Pugh for Oppenheimer or Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer? Like, that's who wins the award? The people have spoken. But it's not even, Scream 6 isn't even her movie. It belongs to that other chick. Um, What's her name? Melissa Barrera. Why isn't Melissa Barrera nominated? Oh, we already know why. <laughs> That's why I said, man, this whole thing is just manipulated. It's all manipulated so that, guess what? We can get the people up that we need to get up there, put their names in lights. That's what this is all about. That's the only thing this is about. It's a heavily manipulated thing. And so Rachel Zegler winning this, no surprise. Shouldn't come as any surprise to anybody whatsoever. Now, check it out. Rachel Zegler just popped this up on X. Uh, I do want to say here to everyone who watched our film, who loved our film, and who voted, you are the reason we get to make movies like this and continue Suzanne's stories in this medium. I am so grateful for you and for Lucy Gray. She has changed my life, as have you all. Again, more part of the PR campaign that Rachel Zegler has to do in order to clean up her image. That's all this thing is about, all right? They got to make sure that this chick comes out smelling as close to a rose as humanly possible. It's still going to be some stank on her, but they're going to try to clean it up. And look, I guarantee you these images of her smiling with her little trophy in her hand, cheese, and, you know, I guarantee you that this is going to be all over the place from now until next year, until that Snow White movie comes out. The people love her. Look, she got a People's Choice Award. Aren't you a part of the people, you know? Come along with the group think here, everybody. And if they can convince one of you morons to get out there and plunk down money for a ticket, mission accomplished. We did the best we could do, everybody. We got a few more butts in seats to come and watch Snow White. You know, the damage is not as bad as it would have been if we did nothing at all. Basically, that's what's happening here. But yeah, I find the whole thing hilarious, man. It's just too funny that this is what's going down. This is the action movie star of the year, ladies and gentlemen. The people have chosen. The people have spoken. Rachel Zegler. It's unbelievable. But you guys let me know what you think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.